Hey, what's up? It's Mark from the Dunright Ranch. Hey, I just wanted to thank everyone that uh, hung in there and watched one, two, and three. Uh, I don't know if it was boring or not. You know, for me, it's my hometown, but quite honestly, driving around and uh, looking at these things and stuff, it brought back some memories. And uh, I don't know, Mason's maybe not as boring as I thought it was. There's some neat things going on here. So anyway, um, part four is the last part. This is part four coming up. It'll be uh, the last part of it. I hope you enjoyed it. Seeing a little part of a town that, you know, maybe you didn't grow up in. Maybe you did. Maybe you're from Mason and you're watching it. So, um, anyway, I know John watches my clips. He's my neighbor. So, anyway, um, say I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, quite honestly, I wanted to get out and film at each place, but it was cold that day, and I just don't like the cold. So, uh, you know, I got out and, and filmed what I could, and then I just kind of shivered the rest of the day. So, yeah, I'm a sissy about the cold. So, anyway, here's part, point, uh, here's part four. I hope you enjoy it, but it'll be the last part of my hometown, and... Uh, Let's get to the intro, and then we'll get the last clips in. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Okay, this used to be Wyeth over here. It was a baby food factory. It's long been closed. And then it was uh, Lear. Lear, which was a company that made stuff for uh, the car manufacturers. And then uh, it's closed now and it's empty. Um, right here, this is where in the Mason Shopping Plaza. And this back area here, there used to be a pizza shop right here. And then on the side of the pizza shop was... Uh, a movie theater would they have two or four I can't quite remember if they had two or if they had four theaters um, they weren't quite as big as you know the theaters that were in Lansing as far as the screen goes but we were happy to have them here in Mason um, long been torn down this plaza was actually closed for years and it's reopened and there are it's not full yet, but there are some stores here. I think this end store here, which is empty, I think, isn't this where Coast to Coast used to yes. be? Coast yeah, this was Coast to Coast. Um, you know, I'm not going to remember all these stores, but uh, there was a TG&Y, which was like a department store. Um, on the end, I think, is where A&P moved to after they left the place I showed you out by the highway. Um, and now it's called Family Farm and Home. It's kind of a, you know, they just have all kinds of stuff there. Farm stuff and groceries and, you know, you can buy chickens in there. I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff. There's a Family Dollar here, which I think the Family Dollar is where TG&Y used to be. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember some of the stores that were here. Perry Drug. Perry Drug was here, yep. There was a Perry Drug store. Um... And then out over this way in the corner, right over there, about where that sign is at out there, there used to be a restaurant right there, and they tore that down. Um, but this used to be a hopping spot in Mason, and um, it's starting to be a little bit again. Um, this store here is going to be here for a while. You know, it's popular for one. You can see they have a bunch of wood splitters there, and... Um, but they also have a 25-year contract, so they're going to be here for a few minutes. Um, but you can see of the whole plaza, this store gets the most activity out of anything in here. And they just have a ton of stuff. Feeder rings and, uh, you know, I mean, all kinds of farm equipment and stuff like that. So across the street over there was where the Ford dealer used to be after it was uptown. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think it closed uptown and then opened here. It might have been a little while after that. But uh, then it was a Honda dealership for a while. Um, and then it closed and it was empty for 
kind of a short time and now it's an antique store this building here on the corner is the old road commission building and it's not really in use anymore uh it's still standing though i believe they still work in behind there but this building you can see it's boarded up there so uh, there's a storage facility was that blue building back there uh, like a used store at place This has been a car lot for a while there with the house and uh, Up here on the right that yellow colored building. I actually considered buying that for my shop at one point, but it was full of asbestos um, Here's the old hostess AMP and now it's a Napa store I used to love going to that Hostess store. They had just everything that Hostess made, and uh, it was a really great store to visit. So, but, uh, say the Shell Station used to be here, and this one over here, the BP, that's where poor Paul Sunoco was. So, okay, we're going to venture on and see if we can find something else to show you. Okay, we're coming in here to Maple Grove Cemetery. It's a sign right there. Uh, this has been the cemetery in Mason for a long, long time. There's stones in here from the 1800s. There, there's some, and, and this is kind of the older part right here, but there's some that are so old you can't hardly read what's on the stone anymore. But there's a lot of people from Mason buried here, including my parents, which is where we're headed right now. My sister and I come here every Memorial Day and clean up around our parents' stone and plant flowers and stuff like that. And My sister's pretty religious about coming here all summer and watering them and taking care of them. She's just good with stuff like that. I'm a little not so much but yeah these are there's a lot of old ones you can see this one here is a bit newer right there um, but there's a lot of old stones in this in this place but we're gonna go back and I'll show you my uh, parent stone and then we're gonna end the video here this is kind of appropriate the final resting place and the final video the final shot in the video so but uh, there's a lot of people that I know, both young and old, um, that have passed away in my lifetime that are buried here now. I suppose one day I likely will be too. I never thought that I'd uh, live my life in Mason as a kid, you know, and I suppose a lot of us do that as a kid. We all talk about how we can't wait to get the hell out of the town we were born and raised in but somehow I ended up back here again and although I'd say I'd like to leave now and go somewhere warmer but I'm just rooted in so deep and I'm just too old to start over somewhere else so um, just gonna stick it out here and try to deal with winter and maybe you know try to get out and do stuff uh, down south as much as I can after retiring and just try to stay warm but yeah, I don't do real well with the cold. And you know, one thing I haven't brought up at all is my eye. My I've had trouble with it the last couple videos and I still have just a little bit of light sensitivity left. My pain's pretty much gone, but uh, you know, right now I'm driving around. I don't have no sunglasses on. So definitely I'm, I'm probably a day or two away from being totally healed now. So, and I appreciate a, a lot of you have made comments and stuff about it. And I appreciate the concern. So um, this is all the newer part of the cemetery back here. Um, we're coming up. It's actually... Uh, where are we here? It's, yeah, it's, we got to go up here and turn left. And uh, we're on the back side over here. And I'll show you that when we get over there. But yeah, this is a lot of the newer part. And it's a walk bridge there. They put up a couple posts. I don't know why. And maybe people were driving across it or something. I don't know. But this is the part that uh, hasn't been developed yet. And then uh, we're going to go over here, show you my parents' stone, and then we're going to be done.
Okay, this is the roadside of the stone. And we always liked this plot because right here, there used to be a big tree and, uh, you know, I think it died. I don't know what happened to the tree. Do you remember? Maybe it was hit by lightning or something. I can't quite remember. There's a new tree here, but my sister and I had to petition the cemetery to plant another tree here. They were just going to leave it empty, and we really liked the fact that, that our plot here was shaded, and um, so they did it. They planted a tree for us here, which was really nice, but this is where my father and my mom are both buried. Uh, my dad was 1924 to 1970. He died when I was young. I was nine years old. And then this is my mom, uh, 1932 to 2007. And then they have a sheriff's badge on their stone here. In fact, I believe that's a picture of my mom's badge. Um, and that's the site. You can see all of our flowers around it are dead now. So it'll be like this throughout winter. Um, but that's my parents' final resting place. Okay. Well, that's going to be the end of our video for today. I hope you enjoyed my hometown. I've um, been just kind of running around town filming stuff. And uh, say I've got a lot of years here. Um, but I hope you enjoyed some of the video. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. Um, and I hope to see you on the next video. Until then, you have a great day. And we'll see you on the next one.